Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today I'm gonna to be talking about a couple of awesome features coming to the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. Now, some of you are going, wait, Thunder E, how do you know that? The S9 and S9 Plus are not available, so you're probably lying. No, I am not, because Qualcomm gave us the blueprints for what to expect today with the uh, Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus when they announced the 845 processor. And there are a couple of awesome features that will be coming to this device. Now we've seen leaked renders for the, a, the S9 and S9 Plus. There are a couple of changes, but all in all, it still looks very similar to an S8 and S8 Plus. The biggest changes of course come, come around with the back of the device where the fingerprint sensor location is now centralized, thank God. And the S9 has a different camera module than the S9 Plus. S9 has a single camera module S9 Plus has a dual camera module. And how does this actually play out? Well, starting off first with what you can do with the 845 processor, which will be in the S9 and S9 Plus, is the fact that you can record in 4K HDR. Yes, I've been talking about HDR forever with HDR TVs. Now you can record your own content with 10-bit color, wide color gambit 2020, um, the whole, ga the whole the whole shebang there. Plus, it does 4K 60 frames per second. Now, both modules should be able to do that, no problems there, which is absolutely fantastic uh, with this. You've got this Spectra ISP built into the 845 processor, and that also allows something else that you can do with this device. Now, we do know the, uh, the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus had uh, iris scanner, facial recognition. This is gonna be greatly improved with the Spectra uh, ISP because now it does better facial mapping, better um, uh, uh, true depth tone. So basically it gives you a more secure um, option for basically facial recognition and scanning as well, which is actually pretty cool. Now, we also know that uh, last year, uh, 2017, Google basically won the prize as the best smartphone camera. Now, that of course was achieved using the 835 processor vector units. Now, um, Qualcomm has worked on the 845 and said the vector units are open, especially focused on AI as well as imaging. And I think Samsung's gonna take full advantage of that because as we see the singular camera module on the Galaxy uh, S9, uh, it's gonna of course be able to do portrait mode because uh, that's just something to stand out Samsung, Samsung devices. But we're using a lot of that with the 845 processors to do that as well as software and AI. Combining of course that on the S9 Plus where it will do that as well, but also has dual camera setup to actually aid with that. So you're gonna see that built in there. Now another thing you're gonna see on the S9 and S9 Plus, which has to do with audio because the headphone jack is still there, is Qualcomm's new codec. This is the, um, the acoustic codec uh, WCD934X, which is gonna allow you a bunch of really cool things. So you're gonna get dynamic range of 130 decibels. Uh, you can also do a PC, PCM up to uh, 384 kilohertz by 32 bits. So it's gonna give you some really good audio and improve a lot of that audio quality on the device, which for me is a huge godsend. So I actually love that fact about it. Now you also have, of course, uh, the built-in gigabit LTE modem and connectivity features there. So it's not just gigabit LTE 1.2, which is uh, you know 1,200 1, uh, uh, bits per second in terms of megabits per second in terms of speeds, but you also have Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity where now you can connect to each individual wireless earbuds on, uh, on the chipset. So which means you can do that with your Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. And the S8 was one of the first device with Bluetooth 5.0. You also have, of course, um, uh, Wi-Fi AD, so you're getting 60, uh, 60 hertz uh, Wi-Fi connectivity, short range, but a high bandwidth of 4.7 gigabits per, um, gigabytes per second, So, which is really, really nice. And those features as a whole will make the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus a powerhouse device for you to use. Something that does 4K HDR recording, like no other device will, uh, something that also will give you a better uh, facial recognition, security options, and things like that. You also have got better audio, I love that. You can see the headphones behind me. And you're going to see a lot of just great functionality with this device. Now, the one thing I'm bummed out is that from the renders, we can see that the fingerprint sensor in the front might not be the case, although I hope that will be something that does turn up. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, but it looks like all indications point to that fingerprint sensor uh, will be located at the back and rear of the device, which is still fine and good. So there you have it, guys. Um, any questions or any comments about any of the features you find in the S9 and S9 Plus, let me know. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, definitely subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy entertainment.